So what we'll be looking at next is the reallocation of the service department costs. Um, but there's another problem that we need to, to address. So if you think of our three different production departments, so say we've got uh, three production departments, let's call them uh, machining, assembly, and finishing. And then we have two service departments. The so service department one might be maintenance, and service department two is cleaning. Now, each of these five departments will first um, assign our overheads to it. So if you think of these five departments as buckets, each of them will contain um, the overheads. So if, if the overheads is water, so it'll be five buckets full of water. And we want to, the first step is to allocate our service department costs to the different production departments. So we want to empty these two buckets, the service department buckets, um, so that we only have the three production departments left. Now, in a lot of cases, the service departments might provide services to each other as well. So the maintenance department will provide maintenance services to the cleaning department, and the cleaning department will provide cleaning services to the maintenance department. So now we've got a problem. So picture the five buckets full of water. And we want to empty these two buckets into the other three. But since maintenance department offers services to the cleaning department, we will throw some of this overheads or, or water into the bucket, the cleaning department bucket. But then when we allocate the cleaning department, we'll throw some of it back into the maintenance department because the cleaning department also provided services to maintenance. So now there's still a little bit of water left in the maintenance bucket. So then we will allocate it again. So we'll allocate it to the three different production departments, but we'll also allocate some of it to the cleaning department because they provided some services to them. So now we'll end up with a little bit of water in the cleaning bucket again. And then from there, we have to allocate it again to all the production departments but also to the maintenance department since they provided them to, with work. So you can see that it's gonna, this process is going to carry on and on and on until there's almost nothing left. But we'll keep on throwing uh, water, or in this case overheads, from the maintenance to the cleaning and then from the cleaning to the maintenance bucket. So in order to address this, we need to find some way to, to get, basically to get these two buckets, the service departments, empty, to, to allocate the overheads to, the different, to, to um, the different service departments, but then finally to the production departments. And there's four different methods we can um, use to do this. So we've got the repeated distribution method, simultaneous equation method, specified order of closing method, and the direct allocation method. So the best would be to explain all four methods by way of an example, and that's what we'll do um, next. We'll look at an illustrative example um, with the same information, but then allocating it in all four of these different ways. Mm -hmm.